All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to use Microsoft Copilot AI and a set of data points that we can download free to make as much as $100, $300, $500, or even $1,000 a day or more. It's actually super simple. In fact, this is a method that I'm using right now as you watch this video to put money in my pocket. Yes, this is a live working method that anyone can do. You don't need skills, you don't need a bunch of money, you don't even need to know what you're doing because AI is gonna do most of the work for us. And all of this hinges on a simple, easy workflow template. I'm gonna show you the template in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at what my students are saying. Just yesterday, we got a comment from Mom's Life who says she has zero experience doing any of this stuff. She bought a domain name for five bucks and flipped it just 60 days later for $1,500. Awesome job, Mom's Life. Keep up the good work. And another one of my students that's using the exact method you're gonna see in this video that gained over 1.2 million monthly viewers in just a few short months. Yep, this is something that actually works. And first, we need to do things a little bit differently. What we're gonna do is work backwards. Most people are gonna tell you to go out there and find a niche and build a site, do the rain dance, and eventually you'll make money. But what we're gonna do is something a little bit more sinister. We're gonna choose a data set based on something that we know is going to give us money. And to do this, we can go to ClickBank, OfferVault, Amazon, or even promote our own products. In fact, in this example, I'm going to show you how I promote, build, and grow a 100% AI business using AI to profit like crazy. So if I wanted to start here at OfferVault, maybe I could take something like a virus cleaner for a computer or some kind of workout program or even something in the credit or financial market. Let's say we found an offer like this one here, The Motley Fool, that basically pays us when they sign up for their stock newsletter. It's a very popular website, lots of people know of it, so it's gonna be even easier to make money. Then, we're gonna use ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot to find the data points. Create a list of stocks over the last five years that went up over 100%. It's gonna go through and create some data based on stocks that grew and made lots of money. You can see that a lot of these actually went up quite a bit. Please find 25 more. And it'll go to work and find all these stocks that actually went up. Now make sure that you data check this and fact check it to make sure everything's on the up and up. This one looks like it's actually citing its sources, which means it's probably already done the fact checking itself. Then once we have our data set, we are going to go through and templatize the money making process. Let me show you an example that I'm using right now. This is an Excel file of lots of websites that got de-indexed in the latest Google spam check, in the latest Google spam update. And they lost lots and lots of traffic, and some of them lost a bunch of money. And this got me thinking, hmm, something tells me I'm not the only one interested in this data. In fact, Twitter has actually been going nuts about the latest Google update, and lots of people that have websites have been scrambling to make sense of this whole Google apocalypse, as they call it. And the premise is simple. A lot of people are losing lots and lots of traffic, which affects their business poorly. And countless other people are wondering, how can I make content that's actually going to stay in Google and make me money long term? And therein lies our workflow template. We are going to take these people that are interested in Google results and getting traffic. We are going to take the data set right like this and use that data set to create content that is in the wheelhouse of what these people want to know. So in this example, we're going to use the websites that got de-indexed and why. And since my template has over 800 examples that I downloaded for free, I can then use that to show people, here's a site that got de-indexed, here's why, and here's what to do next. And hint, the what to do next is how we're going to get paid. Or let's say we're using the stock example. We're just going to go through and find thousands of stocks that went through the roof. We're going to talk about them 
and then have a link that says, to learn more about stock investing, check out this website. And don't worry, you don't need a website, although it is highly recommended. And when they sign up for the affiliate offers, the products we sell, or whatever it is, we get paid. Pretty cool, huh? And don't worry, this isn't limited to stocks, financial stuff, or even domain names and rankings. You can use this for anything from Amazon products to calories, food, workouts, software tools, and pretty much anything that ties to something that gets you paid. But the question is, what are we gonna do with this data anyway? Therein lies the Magic Template Project. We're gonna think about creating images to showcase the data bit by bit, piece by piece. So in this example, I'm gonna take each website like this, I'm gonna take the data points and talk about why the website got de-indexed, what kind of issues it had, and then show examples just like this. I put these little images here for dramatic effect. Then, down at the bottom, I can link them to the website that's going to make me money. For example, this one is talking about all the websites that are struggling to get traffic from Google. And some of these websites were getting millions of visitors each and every month. So quite simply, I just replace the niche, the traffic keywords, the similar web screenshot, and the Google search for the domain name. Or let's say you're in the make money niche. Perhaps I wanna find people that are making money with Pinterest. I could go through and say, please find me income reports from people using Pinterest to get web traffic and make money. Copilot is now gonna to go to work and find different reports of people making money with Pinterest. We could see here, talks about Fin Savvy Panda, how much money they're making, affiliate marketing, and on and on we go. Please find some more. And then utilizing these data points, all I would do is take my simple template here and say something like make money online using Pinterest. And then I would show the reports of people making money on Pinterest. And if I'm in the make money niche, I could go through and do the same thing for people on Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, ClickBank, Google. Yeah, the sky is literally the limit. Or let's say I wanna drive people to these offers that pay as much as $165 for one person that's interested in remodeling their kitchen. Please find me some data points on kitchen remodels in the USA. This is gonna go through and find different data points that we can use to create images that are gonna get people interested in remodeling their kitchen. Then we can say, what are the most common replaced items in a kitchen remodel? And then it'll go through and get me the most common items. This is super important because now I can have Copilot make me some before and after pictures of kitchens that were remodeled. And using these data points is gonna guarantee that there's interest in this market. Or maybe we can go into a market where we're talking about the best AI tools for a certain use or different viruses or things that are on your computer and different stuff like that. We wanna make sure that this is broad and it has enough data points for us to make lots of these images about. Then we can go through and use something like Snagit or any other image editing tool or even Canva where we can create different pins. We simply go down the list of data points making pins with a common purpose. And that purpose is to get them interested in whatever makes us money. Then we're gonna take all of our pins and point them to something of value. For example, if I'm using the data set here with all the websites and the SEO issues, then I'm gonna offer them a free report about SEO and how to rank higher and get more traffic. Or if I'm talking about kitchen renovations, my free report would be about how to remodel your kitchen on a budget, or top things people overpay for when they get a kitchen remodel. If I'm doing the make money niche, maybe my report would be on the top 10 ways to make money. And the cool part about this, you can use AI to create the report for you. And to give you an idea on how this works, this is a Pinterest that we set up for lolbiz.com. This is a website that I have, which is about crazy, funny ways people are making money. Now, you might be saying, but Marcus, don't you have a following? Well, yes, but I haven't talked about my Pinterest strategy. 
This is something we started from the ground up. And very few people know that I actually own this business. What I did was find data sets of products that people are making lots of money with selling on Amazon. Weird stuff like toilet paper guns and different things like that. We then take that, put it into a template right like this and get traffic for free. In fact, you might be saying, yeah, but Marcus, you're pretty good at doing this stuff. Well, actually, I didn't even touch this one. I had an outsourcer find the data, create the template, and run this whole thing on autopilot. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually generating leads and getting sales. In fact, over here on LOL Biz, we have a simple opt-in where people can learn all about crazy products and how to make money online. It's actually super simple. And after having done nothing on this Pinterest account for over six months, we're still generating 1,400 monthly views. And I know that's not much, but this is a market that pays really well. And utilizing this strategy with different data points, like the websites that got de-indexed, traffic strategies, make money strategies, and different things that pay lots of money, you don't need a whole lot of traffic to rake it in big time. In fact, if you were to take a look at Pinterest for make money online, a lot of these little images don't really offer much data and aren't really providing much value. So using data sets is actually gonna make you stand out in the market in a big way, which is gonna help you get a lot more traffic and make a lot more money. And you could do this in literally any niche. In fact, here's people using data about computer viruses, showing you how to get rid of them, how to know if you have them, and on and on we go. And if you were to take a look at some of these websites using Pinterest as a traffic strategy, we can see they're getting lots of traffic and tons of it is coming from Pinterest. Here's another one. In fact, one of these websites here is actually doubling up and using their Pinterest to send people to blog posts that talk more about what the pin is about. And utilizing this strategy, maybe you could talk about cheap countertops or the best lighting fixtures or what types of flooring work best for your kitchen remodel. Or if you were to do the stock market example, you could simply say, now write a little report about why Nvidia stock went up. And you could put this simple report on your webpage and link to it from the pin so they could get more information and then point to the things that get you paid. It's actually super simple. And you could use these data sets in literally any niche. And a pro tip is to load your data. What do I mean by this? I mean, when you are creating a pin, let's say it's about the stock that went up. What you wanna do is load your data with something that serves your purpose of making money. Obviously, we wanna make it true and helpful for the visitor or the person looking at the pin. What we're gonna do is we are gonna load it by finding some top stock tips that maybe the Motley Fool predicted. We would go through and say, this stock went up 800% or whatever it is, 1,000%. Then we're gonna say, compare this with the Motley Fool picks that went up this much, this much, and this much. Or if you were selling something related to like crypto coins, you would say, had you bought crypto at this same time, here's how much that went up or how much you would have made. Or if you're going through and talking about different drop shipping products, maybe you could say this one has this profit margin or to get my report on a hundred different products, go to this website. So you want to deliberately load your pin and your report with the thing that's going to make you money. This is actually really easy to do, and I do it all the time here on this channel when I tell you to get the notes from my video over at downloadmynotes.com. It's the same exact strategy. And the idea is to use your pin to showcase this data in a unique way. Maybe the top websites that are making money, the top niches you could get into, different ways people save money on their mortgages, credit repair tips, different foods to eat while working out, different workouts to do while working out. The sky is literally the limit. And following along with this strategy, as long as you're keeping consistent and flowing with what the data is saying, you will start to get some traction. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And if you position yourself properly, you can actually start to get people to look at your sites, opt in like the one we're doing over here, where we are literally getting opt-ins every single day, even still after not touching this for many, many months, we're still generating an income and opt-ins from it. 
And utilizing this, all you need to do is look at the data. And if you guys want me to go more into detail on finding these data sets, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want some notes from this video, including the data sets we used and a couple of others I'll add in for you, check out downloadmynotes.com. And as always, if you want to join me and get coached by me personally, join blogprofitnetwork.com where we have calls and trainings and all kinds of side hustles and videos and tips to help you make money online. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.